-hmm. Bro, this is an embarrassment at the and highest level. The, the, world, the, the, the world of football needs a powerful Manchester United, and right now, you ain't got it. All right, guys, we're gonna play a little game of trick or treat. Okay. which is basically true or false. I'm gonna read a statement or a scenario and then you are going to hold up trick or treat. Which so one's trick, true and which trick, one's false again? Trick is false, trick basically, is false. and treat means like you think it will happen. They're green or, and true. orange, bro. It's orange, it's not red. <laughs> so, yeah, so I'll say it and then I'll, I'll count. Three, two, one, raise up your whichever card you want. Trick or treat. Got it? Okay. Super simple. We like to keep it simple here on Morning Footy. Okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. First one, Seru Girassi mm -hmm. of Stuttgart mm -hmm. will win the Bundesliga Golden Boot this year. Trick or treat. One, two, three. Show your, <sighs> oh, Nico's still deciding. Oh, okay. So this is a player, he's on 14 goals yeah. in eight matches right now for Stuttgart. He went down injured. Uh, last weekend, not this mm -hmm. past weekend, but the, the weekend before. Um, and he it's, he's projected to come back mid-November, but Chuck, you believe? Or you, no, you don't think so? I do not you think so. You do not so. think so? Uh, there's one Harry Kane. Thank you. <laughs> Harry Kane is, is playing with Bayern Munich, and if Bayern Munich don't win the league, they're gonna finish second, I think, in my, uh, to, to Bayer Leverkusen. And I just think with Harry Kane having the Roizane, Musiala, I think he has more options mm -hmm. in terms of, because the game has to open up. You can't just focus on Harry Kane because the Roizane will hurt you or Musiala. I, I just think that he'll have more opportunities okay. to win Golden Boot. Nico, you disagree. I hope he comes back healthy and strong and keeps it going. We'll see in these coming weeks if Stuttgart have a dependency on, on Girassi. They show that they can compete without him this weekend. Um, Fuchich was very good. They, they didn't end up winning. They lost to yeah, Hoffenheim. Lost. Um, What's this got to do with him winning the Golden Boot? Because then Golden there will boot. be then. But well, you said that it shows <laughs> they can compete. They lost to Hoffenheim. How does that show they can? Get? No, but they didn't get torn apart, and they still produced They're offensively. Not get torn apart okay. without a striker. If if Seru Girassi drops off, I feel like so will Stuttgart, and I want Stuttgart to be up there. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's a treat. It would their be next a treat highest goal scorer on their team has four. Denis Undav. So like, Undav, I mean, he, who's yeah. the backup striker right, for, exactly. for so, ooh, this. Right, exactly. Hey, lost my microphone. But Don't will, worry about it. It's you, fine. Thank what, you, Nico. Look, my point is this. You have Coman, you, mm -hmm. have, you have Musiala, you have Serge Gnabry when he gets back. Yep. You have Leroy Zane. What a guy. You have so many options with Bayern Munich that the game is going to always be open for Harry Kane because yep. you can't just solely focus on Harry Kane. Whereas in Stuttgart, you have Girassi, it's only Girassi. Yep. Yeah. They're so you, you, can, you can figure out a way to, to front him, to, to back him, and then you have maybe outside backs who are tough. No one's in. figured that out though. Okay. Also, Harry Kane's well, you, scoring from the locker room. He is scoring from It's gonna from be the just fine. Room. You think Stuttgart's gonna keep this up? This There's like four other to, questions, guys. They just I know. lost a half of I, And I really like this next one. All right, this one, go. This one's spicy, all right? Eric Ten Hag will finish the season as Manchester United manager. Trick or treat. Oh, wow. Go wow, ahead, cook. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> go, go ahead, cook. Yeah, just, show their, just show their XG, show their standings, show their, uh, their horrific style of play, uh, transition football that they can't figure out a way to, to do. Uh, show their back line, show their defensive midfielders, show how many goals Marcus Rashford has scored this season. One, I mean, at the end of the day, this is... This is an embarrassment. This is a failure from this the top amazing. to the bottom. And if you're a Manchester United fan, the team that you you rooted for growing up that made you a fan of this club no longer exists. My friend, that is just a logo. Wow. <laughs> and oh my on, God. on top of that, we're waiting for Radcliffe to take over that 25%. And to do what? To take over the football in industry. Control. So you got a bunch of lame ducks sitting in this front office so, doing what? I wouldn't oh, even answer an email. Oh, cool. This is like everyone gave the two weeks notice just sitting back, kicking back, waiting for Ratcliffe to take over. Mm -hmm. Bro, this is an embarrassment at the and highest level. The, the, world, the, the, the world of football needs a powerful Manchester United. And right now, you ain't got it. Yeah. Oof. And Oof. if they don't convince Radcliffe, if there's the first moment that Manchester United shows under Radcliffe, whenever it is, that he finally takes control, 
a reason. They show him a reason to say, Ten Hag, done, enough, we've had enough. The first step of authority that Radcliffe is going to make wow. probably Ten Hag just came out would and said the reason he's not Ten playing Ajax-style football is because he doesn't have the players to do yeah, it. Yeah, it's you, 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 Fam! Yeah, fam, out. How many transfer windows have you had, my Get G? Get out of here with that. Bro! Right. Okay, all right, tricks all around. Uh, next question. Lionel Messi will win next year's MLS MVP award. Trick or treat? Wait, yeah. <gasps> Nico! Trick! I'm shocked. I thought you would have said treat for sure. Hmm. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not too sure. Inter Miami has a lot to build off of. <laughs> they have their. You they know. Have, the, sorry. Excuse me. They have a long way to go. They have a lot to build off of, but they have a very long way to go. Turning something around night and day over a season is very difficult. He's probably the favorite, but there are many other talents that I. I don't believe I just heard that come out of his mouth. No. We just had the <laughs> Ballon d'Or win. Not with and, Inter Miami. And, and he is currently on Inter Miami, which means the current Ballon d'Or winner is playing in MLS. And we just saw what he did in League's Cup. A healthy Lionel One Messi. One League's Cup over four weeks. A healthy Lionel Messi in MLS for a full season. You're telling me he is not going to be the MVP? They'll have competition. What if they don't finish? Like, you... They would imagine Lucha Costa. I, guess I think the player. bite's getting to his head, bro. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what did you, what's in that mate today? I don't know. It, bro, it's not gonna have competition. We're talking about the best player in the world. I mean, and he's probably MLS. the favorite to be MLS MVP. <laughs> they good. What, what, they what got the mate. What competition? Matu. I know. What competition? Oof. Lucho Acosta is extraordinary. He is an extraordinary footballer, far beyond the rest Who of the pack. Who is going to pick him over Messi from a full season if he's healthy? I agree with Charlie on that. Who? What if Inter Miami Lucho doesn't have the season that we Lucho, think? Lucho, dude. Wow. What if Inter Miami doesn't have the season that we think and they finish fifth and Cincinnati come in again and put up another uh, supporter shield? If they finish fifth, they're still in the playoffs. And Messi will still right, be MVP. But, just like, but what if somebody puts like a better number I the two guys there? in the Miami like, <laughs> yeah. right now. They're just like, like, what are you talking yeah. about? Let's, no. let, let's be real. This guy's a Ballon d'Or winner. But, okay, but you guys you are acting like it's a runaway. But he's a Ballon d'Or winner. It is. But hold up. You guys are acting like he's a Ballon d'Or winner. Because of what yes. he did with Inter Miami. It doesn't here. matter. He's a Ballon d'Or winner what in did, MLS. He's did you messy. see what he did in League's Cup? I, but he didn't win a Ballon d'Or because of that. Okay. That did doesn't count in the voting. It, voting it's, ended it's, in, it's, this it's is not, crazy. It's not about what got him to win Ballon d'Or. The, the point is, I need he is whistle. the winner. Yeah. He is the winner of the Ballon d'Or. <laughs> sure. Did you see what he did for in League's Cup? Miami was down here. They were horrible. They were TFC. They were Colorado Rapids. And he's going to have Gone, Suarez? Done. And they won League's Cup. Right. All right. Big TBD right. on that one. Okay, uh, last one. <laughs> I, need, I need a red card. Man. I know. Blow your whistle. Let me you smell that mate. What's the point of the game if I can't disagree? <laughs> I, 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 I want to smell like that mate. For banter's sake, We this got is one good. more? U.S. men's national team will make the semifinals of the 2024 Copa America. Oh. Trick or treat, trick or treat, trick or treat. Which one? Treat? Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Oh, boy. Wow, there's a lot of solidarity over at this end of the desk. Nico is just playing the contrarian, and I'm here for it. No, I'm playing like the it. I don't think they're in the Americas. I don't think they're the best four team in the world right now. Fair. So, so give me the four. Simple. Argentina, Brazil, Colombia. No, Uruguay. Done. Uruguay. Mm. And really and ask then, yourself and if then, you can't beat them. And, and, he, <laughs> and, and here is, and here is, and, and I would. If you say Mexico, I'm walking out. <laughs> but they can't. But they, to walk out the but they can lose to. They can lose to a Colombia. I can see the United States losing to a Colombia. I I can see them losing to a Mexico. They yeah. can. I don't think they'll get to the top four. <laughs> Chuck's had enough. Uh, apparently, no, you can't leave. You can't leave. You remember that they made it to the semis in 2016. Okay. You remember that, right? I remember. Oh, okay. Man, this yeah. is this team's way better than that team. Got and there are other it. South American teams that are better than the ones in 2016. But Chuck's had enough. It's All right, a ghost. I hope it's he a comes ghost. back. It's a ghost. That ain't real. 